everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we're gonna continue with our PTD 210 labeling series. This is basic usage part two. So to start with printing labels, before you can print, you have to have a label to put in your machine. So this machine can take the TZE tape up to a half of an inch. First side note, this is how you can purchase this label for your machine. If you go to our website, ptouchdirect.com, in the upper left hand corner, you'll see Brother P-Touch. Go ahead and click that. Then you'll select shop for labels. Once you get to that next screen in blue, you'll see shop by printer model. Go ahead and select the PTD 210 from the drop down. It should be one of the first options and you'll view our online catalog specifically for this machine. So fast forward, you've already got your label. This is how you'll put it into your machine. Another way to see the sizes, you'll see right here at TZE tape up to 0.47 inches, which is a half of an inch or 12 millimeters. Now to get our tape in here, we're going to start with just the sample tape that came with this uh, label maker, half an inch, 12 millimeters. Before you get started, you'll see this green dial here. You want to make sure to give that a twist a couple of times because that's going to tighten the inner spools here. A lot of times if your label begins to bunch or split apart, it's because it's come loose. Now to load this to your machine, we're going to go ahead and open it. It's actually when you're looking at it going to be upside down or if you have it face here, it will be on the side you should still see the size and color label. Now, you'll notice the spools, the holes, this is gonna line up. This will line up, I'm gonna put it in this orientation, it's easier for me. And you're gonna push until you hear that click. Go ahead and flip it and you're ready to go. So once you turn your label maker on, you can type in whichever word you're looking for. So in this case, we'll type in hello. If you'd like to preview your label before you print, go ahead and hit the magnifying glass and it will give you an idea of exactly what this will look like. If that works for you, you can either hit print from here or you can hit escape, go back, edit the font, and then print. Now when it comes to printing, you have the option of up to nine copies of print. You'll notice how many copies because it will be in bold. In this case, it's one. You can either arrow to change the number or you can select the actual number itself that you're looking for. If you want six copies, one copy is sufficient for this example. So from here, you can hit print or you can hit OK and it will print. Either way will work. You will notice it came out here. Now this machine does not come equipped with the auto cut feature. So you'll see this green button with a little scissors etched to it. Go ahead, push that lightly down. It should easily cut your label. In this case, you'll notice that there is two lines here. You'll need to cut with scissors exactly along there to get that label. There's an internal tape cutter in here that this label needs to pass in order to be able to be cut. In this case, you would have had excessive margins in order to get this label here, so just go ahead and give it a cut. Now to feed tape, for example, if you would like um, just a piece of label to come out, what you'll do is you'll hit shift, the magnifier glass at the same time, and that will print one inch of label, just one plain inch. Sometimes if you have a jam or if you want to get, you know, past a little point, that's a great way just to get a, get a little bit ahead. Another way to print is to hit shift and print, and then you can see your numbering here, one, two, three, um, and go ahead and hit okay. Once you have your label, in order to peel the backing off, I suggest folding it lengthwise with the font facing inward, and you'll notice you get this little split here, one at a time, just simply peel off the backing. That's gonna get you to that adhesive layer and you'll notice it be, then becomes a sticker and you can stick it right onto anything. For numbering printing, to print like a, a number that goes in a series, what you'll do is you have your numbers typed out. You'll go ahead and arrow to whichever number that you would like to start with or to change, whichever number you'd like to increment, and then go ahead, once you've selected that, go ahead and hit Shift, Print, and you'll see numbering. We're gonna hit OK, and you can set between zero and nine, in this case, let's say three. Go ahead and hit OK, and it's gonna print out here. And you'll see here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 1, 2, 3, um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 0, and so on and so forth. So it's going to print out a series of numbers for you. Um, another option you have with this machine is mirrored printing. This would be great if you're printing with a clear label and you're going to stick it on a window or glass, something transparent. So hello. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead we're gonna hit shift, print again, and then we're gonna arrow until you see mirror. Go ahead and hit okay, and it's gonna ask you mirror print, 
OK again. And then it will print out for you. And then you'll have hello backwards or whichever word you'd like. Now keep in mind, you need to put your text in first before you can utilize mirror print. I'll start by saying how to adjust the margins is probably my most common question I get from our customers. You need to know there is that internal cutter blade that this label needs to pass in order to get cut. You will have some tape ways no matter the margins. It's just the way of the game. So just start to adjust your margins. After you've typed your word, you're gonna go ahead and select label. You can see label length, we're gonna to go to margin, hit okay. A full margin is one inch, half margin is half an inch, and narrow margins I believe is 0.16 of an inch, or one point, yeah, 0.16 of an inch. So once you've selected your margin, you can go ahead and click okay, and that will say accepted. So now when you print this, it will have half inch margins on here. Another option you have is chain print when you're printing multiple labels with the minimum margin. So say hello, and then we want to go to label, margin, okay, and we'd like to chain print, okay. That means you're going to print this word hello four times. So hit print, copies, we want four copies, hit okay, and this will print, and each one between that will have a narrow margin between it, and I'll show you what that will look like. Feed okay, okay. It's gonna keep going, please cut. So here you go, and now you'll see the narrow margins between each word. Now, that's pretty tight there. The only other way, you're still gonna get this much of a gap with the first label you print because of that internal cutter. So if you were gonna print this label nine times and then you needed to keep doing this over and over again, the only other suggestion I can offer you, or a little trick I've learned over time, is going to be to take a pair of scissors, put the couple spaces between each word, and then simply cut. It's not very professional, it might not be recommended. That's just a little trick I've learned because you are going to get, no matter what, this little bit of margin. It's just, it has to get past that cutter blade. So for this, I'm gonna show you how to save files. This label maker can save up to 30 different labels or files, each one having up to 80 characteristics. Um, so for example, if you found a label that you like the font, the size, you've adjusted the margins on there, you've auto-filled your, or selected a certain length of the label, you don't wanna have to keep doing that over in time, over and over. So save it as a file and you can go back to it. You can always edit it, or if it's never gonna change, for example, say you have a salsa company and you put mom salsa in all of your, every jar. Every time you can go back to your file, hit print, so on and so forth. Or if you like that style that you've created, but it might, the label itself might change, so it might be Mom Salsa or Peter Salsa or Dave Salsa, whatever. You can go back, edit the actual text, but leave everything else the same. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to save a file, so say you liked Mom Salsa, we'll go ahead and hit File, um, in this case, Save, okay. I'm gonna save it as number one. I already have a Mom Salsa saved as number one from a previous example. But we're gonna go hit okay, it'll say overwrite, and we're gonna say okay, accepted, because we want this to be the new number one save file. Now again, you can have up to 30. So you can print from here. Now let's say we've already saved it. Let's clear everything, okay, to really test it out. So file, print, you can either print directly from here, Mom Salsa, hit print, one copy and you've got mom salsa. Another option you can do file, so that was to print exactly, but say you wanted to change it. So we'll go ahead and open, okay. And then here is when you can come in and edit the wording. So if it's no longer mom salsa and dad's still on the show, it's dad salsa, go ahead, hit print. And that's asking if the feed's okay. Keep going, it wants to make sure it's doing it right. Hit click, dad salsa. Um, so you can save that format right in there and adjust the words or you, every time you can print. So right now it would still be saved as mom salsa and you can leave it as is or you could override that file and in order to do that, you would hit file, save, okay. You can either save that as option two and that would now be dad salsa or you can override mom salsa. So let's say we save it as an option two, hit okay, accepted. So now say you wanna open a file. You now have two as dad salsa or one as mom salsa and you can alternate and you notice three is blank because we don't have a third file saved. But you can easily pick a file that you like and print from there and that's gonna save you time once you find a format and a label that you like, you can easily pull it up from there.
Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel so you can continue on our labeling series journey with this PTD 210. We appreciate your time. Have a good day. Bye.